Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 43, Domino Designer. Redesigning Domino Designer. Okay, well, last uh, show we looked at, uh, or two shows ago, I guess, we looked at source control, which is a you know a big piece of, of Domino Designer now. It's built in, and you can attach to uh, these other source control repositories. And I started thinking, well, you know, I haven't done really a show on Domino Designer itself. Um, so I thought we'd... Uh, take a couple minutes and look at some tweaks, uh, see different ways you maybe you could customize it, uh, get a little better performance out of it, etc. So uh, today I want to talk about some stuff that I've learned from uh, Paul Calhoun. Um, I, a couple times I've seen him speak and he's talked about you know some of the Java settings and, and things like that that you can use to uh, make your Domino Designer experience a little better. And also I wanted to highlight a, a, a great blog post that uh, Nathan Freeman did uh, sometime last year, I think it was, where he just he just came out with this huge document of all these tweaks and settings and stuff like that, and uh, I, I thought that was worth kind of going through there as well in case you might have missed it. So with that being said, let's go on with the demo. Okay, so this show is all about Domino Designer, so let's go into that and, and see what we can see. Uh, if there's any ways that can improve it. So the first thing I'd like to do, uh, and again, I got this from Paul Calhoun. Um, is come down here to preferences and in general we can do this show heap status okay and we'll say apply and turn that on now I noticed that it was checked uh, because I, I screwed up the last take at this so, so I'd left that on but it's not sticky so this is showing now where it wasn't before so you can turn it on and see what your heap size is um, but uh, if you close Domino Designer, it's not going to remember it. There's a bug somewhere, so you have to kind of turn it back on again. So as I open a database, I only really have one on, on this machine here at the moment, you know, we're starting to take a memory. So so you can see here the heap size is 61, 70, you know, of a maximum 256 megabytes. Well, you know, even on my virtual machine, I've, I've got a little more than that to play with. So what we want to do is we want to up this maximum heap size. Uh, how we're going to do that is we're going to close Domino, Domino Designer. And we're going to go into my computer. And Lotus Notes Framework RCP uh, Deploy. And then this thing here, JVM Properties File. We're going to edit that. And edit here. And these are the two numbers we can play with. Why? Because Paul said so. Um, uh, that, that's about all I know. So he recommends bumping this up to 512 at least, or so. I, I think the rule of thumb is maybe half the memory you have. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. And we're going to bump this guy up to 128. And, and I apologize. I knew what these were for, and now I forget. Um, so that's all I know. So the, the other thing I do know, though, is at least this guy here, this, this S1, must be divisible by 4. If it's not divisible by 4, it's probably going to ruin your day, I guess, or it's not going to work, um, which would be anticlimactic. So we're going to save this here at 512 and 128. And close this. We're going to come back into Lotus Notes. And if you hear any outside noise, it's because uh, my daughter's at piano practice as we speak, and I'm actually doing this from the car. Um, that's dedication so we go back into designer and now we do file preferences uh, general and okay that's already checked so we're just gonna hit apply okay now see the maximum or it starts out with 128 dedicated with a maximum being 512 so that alone again I don't actually use this too much I'm, I'm going to now because I keep forgetting about it that alone should really make a big difference in designer um, okay, so that's that. So the, now the another thing I want to show you, if you haven't seen it yet, and, and I thought I saw a posting out there that kind of confused somebody, is we, we've got this great thing here. We've got this X pages perspective. So we have our outline here. We have our controls, our properties. But it's, it's not that valuable when, you know, we're just using old school stuff. And even when we want to use old school stuff, um or classic, I guess I should say, some of the shared elements are gone because you wouldn't have outlines in the next pages app and stuff like that. So, well, how do you get that back? Well, 
window open perspective domino designer will give you a nice oh, I'm sorry uh, it's not domino, it's forms and views will give you a nice you know kind of more classic uh, perspective that's using as much space as it can I'm kind of surprised this property business is still here um, in this one so obviously I stay in the X pages one uh, as much as we can but but oops see now I'm getting confused so don't be afraid to come in and play with these different perspectives. Performs of views, X pages is the big one because it gives us easy access to the package explorer for the source control stuff that uh, I talked about on on a, a recent show. Um, so okay, so other things that you can do in Domino Designer, and there's a lot. And there's a lot of good ones. I want to draw your attention to a post that Nathan Freeman made a, a little while back, and I googled it by. Nathan Freeman Domino Designer Settings and came right up and I'll try and post this actual link. But he has a very, very detailed blog post of tweaks you can do for Domino Designer. Uh, now the first one that I never do is I, I don't turn off build automatically because I don't, but it's important for a lot of people. So if you are having problems, turn off build automatically. Um, the one that I really like, and I'm not exactly sure where it is here. They're all good and they're all worth uh, exploring. This one is a little deprecated. This showing the, the package explorer because we have that in our perspective now. Etc. Um, there's some good working set stuff here. The two is you can change your font. This is how we go to change your font. And the only true programming font is actually Consolas if you have that because that font is just uh, beautiful. And uh, if you follow these these recommended things of his ideas, the the big one and here's a good one with your semicolons and braces and inserting them at the correct position. Um, what's nice is and you can highlight your C data stuff, change that to a different color. Is once you get all that done, I guess it's not just one. It's it's your source can show each property on its own line, which seems to take up a lot of space, but is very readable. So it, it's worth going through the document, I think, just to get to like this kind of world where you see all these leaf nodes and stuff like that where here's all your properties. So rather than going left to right, it's, it's all in each line. And that's just a really nice way to read it. Um, so uh, I highly recommend you checking out this document from Nathan Freeman and, and tweaking whichever ones you want to uh, your heart's content for uh, Domino Designer improvements. And that's the demo. Um, if you have any questions, uh, here's my contact information, and I thank you for your time.